to for the valley, where I spend most of my days in the valley. But there's a lily in every valley. Amen. I'm on. I want to talk a little bit about faith tonight. Learning to have more faith. How many here need more faith? Amen. That's one thing we can't have enough of. Amen. I'm going to read several scriptures. So you can go there if you want to, if you don't have to. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now we all know that certain of the Lord takes faith. Without it, you'll never make it. You know, there's all kinds of evidence or proof that there's a Jesus Christ. Yeah. But we've never seen Him, so it takes faith to serve somebody we ain't never seen. Yeah. But we we know He's there because we can feel Him. There's just too many miraculous things that's happened to know that Jesus exists. Yeah. Romans 14, 23 says, And he that doubteth is damned, if he eat because he eateth not a faith, for whatsoever is not a faith is sin. Mm. So that lets me know that if you don't have faith, I guess it's a sin. Amen. Yeah. The devil will try to get you any way he can. Amen. And he'll, the one thing he likes to do more than anything is slip out in your mind. Mm. He's real good at that. One, uh, one doubt he tries to get everybody to believe is that there's no Jesus. Yeah. One thing he's always brought to me several times when I'm going through a trial, just because I haven't got the prayer answered, he'll say, you know, Jesus doesn't really exist. He would have answered the prayer. But I always call the, the devil a dummy, which he's not a dummy. The devil's pretty smart when he sneaks in. Yeah. But being on a potter's wheel, what it's all about, God puts us through things to build our faith. Come on. To build our relationship with Him. Yeah. And without that, I wouldn't be, they probably would not be here. Yeah. you got to grow. Amen. Believe Come Christ, you hear about back or another day or something about they're still babies. They've yeah. been in this thing for 30, 40 years and they're still babies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's what the trial will do for you. It'll get you out of that baby if you'll fight. Just hang on to fight. You'll, you'll get to the meat. Yeah. It took me years to finally get that, Sister Judy. Billy taught me to live blue in the face. Don't, don't go by how you feel. Go by the word. Go by the word. And it took me forever to get that in my heart. And I thank God it finally got there. Amen. If I went by how I felt, I would never come to church. Come on. <laughs> that devil. I would, the devil's really good at bringing up our past. I always remind him of his future, you know. Amen. His permanent retirement home will be the pit of hell. Come on. Yeah. So that's what I always give back to him. And I, I don't know, like I said, I always call the devil stupid, but the devil's not no dummy. Yeah. The devil knows he's in trouble and he's trying everything in his power to drag as many souls to hell as he can. John 10.10 10 says, The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Time to take back what the devil stole from all of us. Amen. Peace of mind, joy, happiness. All wrong with the Lord. Come on. We should name all several of those things that let the devil stole from us. The only way he can take anything from us is if we let him. Amen. First John 4 4 says, Greater is he that's in me or in you than he that is in the world. Yeah. So thanks to the power of Jesus Christ that lives inside of us, we can defeat the devil. I'm talking about learning to have more faith. <clears throat> Whenever we get into our car to go to the store, we have faith we're going to make it to the store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the way it should be for serving Jesus. We should have faith to serve Him that we're going to get to Him. Yeah. But we sometimes lose a little bit of faith in that. That's a trick of the devil. But we're here when we get weak. Mm -hmm. The devil tries everything in his power to stop you from making it. He's real good at some through the cracks, Brother Billy. Yeah. I mean, if you turn your head for a minute when you're serving the Lord, if you get your eyes off Jesus just for a minute, and that's when he slipped in there. There's 
a ton of scriptures in this King James Bible about faith. Yeah. So instead of picking every one of them out, which is a, we've got a long sermon, I picked a few of them. I'm going to read some of them. Romans 1.17 says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, that it is written, The just shall live by faith. Yeah. <coughs> Galatians 3 11 says, But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident for the just shall live by faith. Yes. 2 Corinthians 5 7 says, we walk, we walk by faith, not by sight. Ephesians 2 and 8. For by our grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Hebrews 10 38. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Now Hebrews 11 and 1, I don't know if y'all have ever read that. It's got several scriptures there about faith. I'm going to read a few of them. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. Amen. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that which we seek him. Faith is very important. By faith, Noah built the ark. Yeah. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should all, should I, after receive for inheritance, obeyed and he went out, not knowing whether he went. Yeah. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in the tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Oh, hallelujah. By faith, Sarah had a baby. Yeah. And she was up there in age. Amen. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith, Jacob, when he was a dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning upon the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention of the party of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. Yeah. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandments. By faith, Moses let the children pass the Red Sea. What kind of faith are we talking about back there? Yeah. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down. Come on. Also, when David faced Goliath, he had to have faith. A little bitty old man went out there and fought a big old giant. He said, what he comes in the name of the Lord? Come on. Faith. What about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? In that fiery furnace? Yeah. What would it do to me and you if somebody put us in there? What kind of faith we have? <laughs> yeah. And they seen a, a fourth. Face of God. Yeah. Image of God, whatever it says. I can't remember how it goes. Son of God. What about Jonah? After he was swallowed by the well, he eventually had to get some faith there. He was yeah. stubborn at first. Yeah. But he had to get faith. I mean, I always try to picture myself in some of these places where they know how how would I get my faith? How quick would it come? You gotta have faith. If you don't have faith, you won't make it. You have to have faith in Jesus or you won't make it. Amen. Come on. I, I pray every day for more faith. I want to be closer to the Lord than I've ever been. The battle gets hot. That must be doing no something right. Y'all just keep me in prayers. I try to make it every day. Give the Lord a hand for His word. Amen.